Hey friends, I hope everyone's having a great day today. So, remember this boys and girls? Ooh, this is a big one. It's the five point scale. The five point scale is a wonderful tool to help us decide how big or how small our problems are. Because boys and girls, we have problems all of the time. And sometimes our problems are really small. Sometimes our problems are medium. And sometimes we have great big emergency problems. Not too often, but sometimes we have emergency problems. Sometimes our problems are like this. Boys and girls, look at this card. These two girls are not getting along very well, are they? I think that they are having a problem. Ugh. Now the question I have for you guys is, what is the problem that these girls are having? Yeah, because the way they look on their body language, their body language looks like their problem is seemingly like way up here. Do you think that the problem that they have is a four? Or do you think it might be a smaller problem? I'm curious what you think. Will you talk to your adult about that? Now, the next word that Mr. Parker has for you boys and girls is compromise. Compromise is like making a deal. Like maybe you make a compromise with your mom or your dad that you say, Mom and Dad, if I, I don't know, clean up my bedroom, maybe I get to go and have some free time to play outside. That would be a compromise where you make a deal. If I clean my room, then maybe I could go outside. That is a compromise. Boys and girls, what kind of compromise might the girls have? What kind of deal might they be able to make? And then the last question I have for you is this. What might happen if the girls don't stop fighting? What do you think might happen if the girls don't stop fighting? about this because right now we can decide how big their problem is and we can decide how big their reaction is and we know boys and girls that we should try very hard to make sure that our reactions what we do is always smaller than our problem because we have a problem we have a choice on our reaction and we should try so hard to make sure that how we react or what we do because of our problem is always smaller than our problem. Please answer those three questions, boys and girls. Let Mr. Parker know what you're thinking. Thank you.